Today I'm gonna show you guys how to go from this to this using one light and some random stuff that you'll find around the house. Cinematic lighting done easy. Lighting has always been a bit of like a scary, intimidating thing to me, especially because it can literally make a $100,000 camera setup look like absolute garbage or a mediocre camera look really, really good. But what helped me get over that is realizing that there is no right and wrong when it comes to lighting. There's a lot of like scientific principles which help you, but after that, it's all kind of art and experimenting and just trying different things. Do whatever you want, experiment, try different things and see what works best for you and your setup and what you're trying to convey in your story. Okay, so uh, you can see that this does not look <laughs> that great right now. Basically right now we have two windows for the light. Um, so we have that window, that window. And then we just set up a couple tube lights to be kind of like our practicals for this little setup. And you can see that it doesn't look very good. There's very little shape, uh, just nothing, nothing fancy to this. And we're gonna use one light uh, to make this way better. First off, we're gonna take away some light. So we're gonna use um, what's called a negative fill. Now I have kind of one of these fancy filmmaking ones, but this could literally be like anything. It could be, we could use this NMO jacket and do the same thing. Anything basically black or dark fabric will do the job. I'm gonna bring this in nice and tight here. And this one actually is a little bit fancy. It has, let's go the other way around. So we're just gonna swing this around, make sure to not hit the camera. Now we don't have this like nasty light coming from this side. Uh, we got some, some mood going on. And we have a nice little kick coming from the window over there. So that's working fine. And then we have our little light tubes kind of motivating, hitting us a little bit. But we need something coming from over here. That's what we're gonna do next. Uh, typically, when you're lighting something, you're gonna be either diffusing or bouncing. That's kind of how you get nice soft light. Sometimes you don't want soft light, but most of the time you're diffusing or bouncing. But why not do both? You can actually bounce and diffuse, which is usually called book lighting. And instead of doing it really complicated, what we're gonna do is just bounce it off the wall. Since we have a white wall here, let's just use that. Why would we do that? Well, a few reasons. First off, it's way easier, less you know, stands needed, super fast setup. The second reason is that you might not have enough space to actually set up stands and stuff in here to have like some sort of you know, fancy filmmaking thing to bounce the light off of. And then thirdly, it might actually look more natural because it's the colors of the room and it has some texture. It might just bounce the light a little bit more natural-like. So we have an Amaran 300C here and we're gonna pop this off into the wall here. That looks real bright, way too bright. So that's on full blast right now. Let's take it way, way, way down. That looks all right. Let's pop it uh, off, on. All right, that's our first step. We could probably even go a little bit more subtle. First, I, I think I need to adjust this little kick light. I'm just gonna make that window a little bit smaller. Ooh. That should do the trick. All right, now we're getting a lot less kick lights. So that, that just looks much more natural. Basically, right now we have our negative fill here. We just dimmed down that window essentially a little bit. We pulled down the blinds and then we have one light bouncing into the wall. And so this would be your typical bounce light. And all we're doing is just taking a light, bouncing in the wall and it looks, it looks not bad. And that's already a cool look that works. You could do it like this, but let's try to diffuse it. Now we could use, you know, super fancy filmmaking uh, stuff to make this happen, but instead <sighs> I got a shower curtain. Fun fact, this shower curtain was actually used on real DP shoots where I was DPing um, and also for a lot of my early YouTube videos. And this will do just fine. There are no rules here. That's, that's the whole thing about lighting. There isn't, you don't need to use fancy stuff. Remember, there are no rules. Use whatever you want, whatever makes sense and whatever works to get the light that you want in your situation. So let's pop this on and let's see what that does. So we're gonna take one of these stands, but again, you could use anything, uh, you know, use whatever. <laughs> 
Use whatever stands you have. Um, you could use a chair. You could tape this to a wall. Do whatever you need to do. Just gonna tape this to the stand here. All right, it doesn't look fancy, but let's see what she does. All right, now we have our shower curtain up. So we essentially now have a book light, which is bouncing the light off the wall, and then it's coming through diffusion, this shower curtain, and hitting my face. And so now we have a different look. This isn't right or wrong. This isn't better or worse. This is just a different look that you can use in a different scenario. Now, uh, because we are diffusing it, we're bouncing and diffusing it, we've actually lost some light. So I think we can now turn up the power a little bit here. And now with that book lighting, it's softer, more natural. And again, it's not right or wrong. It's just a different look that you can use. And why not? Let's, let's double diffuse that. We have another shower curtain. So you can see this is actually pretty wide, but this arm is a lot shorter. Now, what I would do back in the day is I had like this like cardboard, <laughs> like you know when you have like a poster or something, those cardboard tubes? I'd just stick that in here and then I'd have a longer arm. I'm gonna do it a little bit more uh, fancy just because I have it. All you grips, gaffers, uh, don't laugh at me. Casually knocking over everything. I do know that you always want to, on a C-stand, keep the, the knobs here, the big knobs, on the right side. So as it goes down, it's tightening and not loosening more. I know that much. Oh, okay, so you can see we've uh, extended this sketchy, <laughs> sketchy thing now. We're gonna put that in place here. And we're gonna hang the shower curtain. All right, then we're gonna raise this Raise this sucker up. <laughs> Thank you for the music. Okay, so now you can see we have the light bouncing off the wall, which is then getting diffused by this first shower curtain, and then getting diffused again by this second shower curtain. This is big budget filmmaking right here. Okay, so this is now a book light double diffused. We're just making up stuff here. And now this is starting to look way more just like natural, um, how real light behaves just because it's bouncing around all over the place, reflecting off all sorts of stuff. Um, we've again lost some exposure here, so why don't we just dial this up a little bit. So yeah, that's a pretty cool look, but we could also just increase uh, the strength of this light. Right now it's only at 13%. Um, which means that everything else is going to get darker if we expose for this light. And now we have this look. So this is with our double diffuse book light. This is off, on, off, on. So yeah, we just made this cinematic lighting right here using one light, a wall, and some shower curtains, and then some black fabric, essentially. And we could try all sorts of different things with these same tools. If we had another light, we could bounce that into the wall also and see how that changes things. Maybe we even bounce one into the wall and the other, we shoot straight through the diffusion. That could have a different look. We could change the color of the light. We could go for a warm look. Let's change these tubes to the same. Now we have this different look. Uh, you can do all sorts of stuff. There are no rules. Experiment, have fun, and think about what your scene is needing. What is it wanting? What's the best way of telling that story? And then just use whatever you have around you. Experiment, have fun, understand the scientific principles of things like bouncing light or diffusion, but just try things. So often we kind of get like, you know, uh, paralyzed and thinking like, oh, what if I do it wrong? There is no right and wrong. Just try different stuff out. And that's also because that's how the real world is. Light is always finding new ways up to bounce around and reflect and there's new sources coming out. Light is always changing and there's always different scenarios. And that's why there isn't one technique or one way of lighting that fits for every scene, every setting. Light is always going to be different and you kind of have to look out, okay, what light do we have? What are we motivated by? How would that light come in and bounce off something? How do we make it look natural? Or maybe you don't want natural light. Maybe you're doing a music video and you want it to look super crazy and different and weird. 
that's okay too. A few things to consider here. One is that you might not be able to bounce the light off the wall. If it's, for example, a black wall like this, it's not gonna bounce much light. Or if it's like a weird color, like a green, that might be not what you're looking for. Also, when you're bouncing the light and then you're diffusing, you're losing some intensity in the light. But what I find is, all the LED fixtures nowadays, they're just so bright that actually, like, I think I have this on like probably like 30% or something like that. I could go way brighter, no problems. So yeah, uh, that's it for this one. Thanks for joining me on another Maddie tries different lighting setups and learns <laughs> about cinematography. This is really fun to just test different things and see what works and, and finding different techniques that I can then later use. It's all part of uh, learn, make, repeat, uh, <laughs> just trying different stuff out. There's the things that you can learn through videos and talking about it and books and all that stuff. And then there's things that you learn when you just start doing and put things together. And then you're like, oh, okay, now it clicks. That's why I'm doing this and trying to help you guys a little bit because I think lighting especially is very, very, very like mysterious. How does it all work? And uh, yeah, we're just trying to figure it out together. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye. How do you guys like my uh, mic setup here? Zoom F3 with a mic sticking out of it. 32-bit float for the win. Just works.